Hi, and welcome to another episode of the VIP Sound Lab. I'm your host, Joe Fontaine, and in this video, we're going to take a look at using the AutoWrite pen feature in Machine. So here I am inside Machine 1.8, my DAW of choice right now. And what I'm going to do is make a little miniature effect chain by using tabs 2 through 4. On tab 2, I'm going to go ahead and select the phaser. When a phaser comes up, you can see that the different parameters show up like so. We have the outer lane as well as the inner lane if we wanted to draw in our automation. On tab 3, I'm going to grab the transient master. And on tab 4, we'll grab a compressor. To access these different parameters, normally I would have to jump from tab to tab like so. You can see how this can be very clumsy and cumbersome when I want to adjust my automation inside my mix down in automation lane down here. If I wanted to access any parameter from any one of these tabs at the same time, there's a couple of ways that we can do this. For example, on the phaser tab, I'm going to add a couple of macro controls. For example, on the mix, let's go ahead and add macro control one. You notice this little blue dot appears, which just basically means that you're assigning a macro control. That's one. Also can assign macro control two to the speed. So, so far we have the outputs mix, as well as the modulation of the speed, now assigned to macro controls. On a transient master, I'm going to assign macro control three in the depth uh, category here in the input gain. I'm also going to add to macro control four the attack. Finally, on the compressor, I'm going to add the threshold to macro control five the attack to macro control six and the release to macro control seven. Keep in mind, we have up to eight macro controls, but I'm only going to use seven. Okay, now that we have everything assigned to macro controls, what we'll do is we'll jump over here to our group tab. And we'll jump over here where it says MCR, which is basically short for macro controls. As you can see, the seven of the macro controls that we did assign now show up. Now on our hardware controller, we will simply press shift and auto write. By pressing shift and auto write, if you look down at your hardware controller, the left screen and the right screen, you immediately notice that the macro controls that you have signed now appear. So as you can see, I can now control every one of those knobs at the same time. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and give an example. If I was recording and I wanted to affect every one of those parameters at the same time, believe it or not, I can do so. Before we do leave the video, there is one quick tip that I did want to give to my VIP members. For example, did you know that machine has an enter MIDI learn mode? For example, if I was to go to a knob in machine and right click, I can enter the MIDI learn mode. This could be a very useful tool if you didn't want to use the hardware controller in machine and you have an external MIDI controller. When you enter the MIDI learn mode, you notice that this white dot immediately starts flashing. It's awaiting to be assigned. Once you assign this parameter, you can simply right click and leave the MIDI learn mode. You can also right click and assign CC notes. As you can see right here, you have up to 100 
and 27 CC mappings. We also can remove assignments by selecting the remove assignment icon here. So again, I'm going to hold it up right there. Again, my name is Joe Fontaine of the VIP Sound Lab. We have a VIP membership that's only $9.99 with no monthly fees. Be sure to come by the website and join today. Thanks for watching.